Hey guys, it's Corn74. How are you guys today? I'm back with the Nokia N97. This is the software review. Okay, so the Nokia N97. I'll have to put this closer up. Um, it's too much glare. Uh, the Nokia N97 runs the Symbian OS uh, Series 60 version 9.5 as you can see it's very nice looking um, it runs on a um, ARM 11 43, uh, 433 megahertz processor which is not too bad but I would have liked something a bit quicker I think this is pretty much the same processor that was in the um, Nokia N95 and N96 that's so a bit outdated so I would have preferred something a bit quicker anyway but it still doesn't they've um, tweaked the UI compared to the Nokia 5800 this actually does run a bit better a bit quicker alright this is your front screen front, front screen um, you can customize all these widgets up here and you can fill up the whole um, front screen with widgets if you like turn it that way Flip the keyboard, you can navigate through all your menus like this. Press the menu there, you can navigate right through just using the D-pad. So you don't pretty much hardly even have to use the touch screen if you don't want to. Alright, we're in the menu now. Settings. There we have all I know that one thing that is coming to the N97 and that's um, kinetic scrolling so which means you won't have to use this bar on the side anymore you'll be able to just go through like this a bit easier it'll, be, it'll just scroll and keep going until you stop it more a bit more like the iPhone so that'll be a good feature and that should be coming September sometime with the new firmware update Alright, one thing I am very impressed with is the Wi-Fi speed. For example, YouTube, the YouTube app. I'll go and have a look. Connect. Um, just play a random video. This is on home Wi-Fi. This is Andrew Schramm, research officer. It loads pretty quick. got very good sound and stereo speakers not as good sound as the Nokia 5800 but they're still decent here we are that's the YouTube app so it's very quick so top, we'll go to top rated videos it'll show them up there then we just flick from See? pretty easy to flick from whatever you like to watch or there's a search function up there so we press this so yeah it's pretty quick yeah we'll stop that so that was that's a YouTube app. It's very very good. Um, we have the this, this is a Twitter app for the N series Nokia's. I oh, and for Nokia 5800, you can see I'm flicking through right there. That's that has kinetic scrolling. As you can see, you can stop it easily. Flick stop. This is what Nokia will, should be bringing in with the in the N97 in September. Excuse, that's my dog. <laughs> um, but it does. It's not a bad touchscreen. I've seen. I've I've used a lot worse, to tell you the truth. 
but this one's very good I reckon not as good as the iPhones obviously but it's still pretty good um, go to menu if there's anything else I would like to show you can put um, Engage on this. You can use Engage. You just have to download it because it doesn't come on the phone. Um, go to Photos, Captured Photos. Just a couple of photos that I um, got off the internet. As you can see, it scrolls pretty easy. Not much to it really, you don't really have to hit it hard. This is a bonus. Accelerometer is very good, it's very pretty sensitive. Um, you, it, it's real easy to work with. Now that I said it, I probably wasn't pressing the right button. Um, it's got a, other applications like Office, Notes, Real Player, uh, it's obviously got GPS, podcasting, uh, it's got drawing, it's got, I've, I've put Oprah Mini on there as I'm a big fan of their browser, mobile browser. Yeah, so it's got a lot of good features. Feature wise, it's one of the best phones. That's for sure. Anyway, guys, that's about it. That's pretty much my quick software review. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be coming up with some more videos coming up soon. Cheers, guys.